Hello and welcome to Startup TV. Today I'm happy to um, present our new show called 60 Seconds. Uh, at 60 Seconds, startups have the chance to pitch the idea in, guess what, in 60 seconds. Afterwards, you, so the audience, have the chance to vote for their favorite startup just by leaving a comment under the video. Um, the startup with the most votes will be uh, presented on Startup TV with an extra video story so they, that you get more details about it. And then it will be also invited to our new um, exclusive event, what we will announce in the next weeks. But now we start with the first startup. Mario, welcome to the show. And your 60 seconds starts now. Thanks, Thomas, for the invitation. Very honored. You need to have the global vision to understand. So we're making international life easy. That's our passion. We have a large network of internationals coming to Berlin. And we figured out the number one problem was dealing with the and Meldon in Berlin. Who has not moved to Berlin and deal with the bureaucracy? Who loves bureaucracy? Yeah, guess what? We solved it. We created Aidelo, come from artificial intelligence relocation. And we started doing the ad Meldon in Berlin in multiple language. Just go to Facebook Messenger, look for Aidelo, and then you can just select your language. We have 10 different languages. You can select the city, and then you can even take a secure picture of your passport, and it will automatically fulfill the formula. And then we'll recommend you what are the next steps actually to move forward. We can even do it for you for a, special, a small fee. So we are excited now that we're in Berlin. We're in, uh, in Munich, New York, expanding to new cities. And looking forward to have more international helping them to grow. I still have like 30 seconds. I think, I think there was wow. something broken with the account. So, but you, 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 you mentioned uh, already everything. That sounds uh, awesome. I mean, I'm happy that I already have uh, Anmeldung. So, uh, <laughs> but... Uh, um, so you, so you do, you do all the process and you just have to use the app and uh, how is it working with the payment and how you make money? So basically we have two, we have two mentions, it's a freemium model, so you can go to the Facebook Messenger and I search for Airelo and then you can just chat to it directly, in less than 10 minutes you have the formula fulfilled in German in your email for free. And if you want us to go and do everything, we can just pay a small fee for us, for a premium service. And also we partner with companies like bank account, insurance, if you need for N26, for example, if you need a bank account, we have in multiple languages and we help you to connect. And that's how we monetize as a lead generation for our partners as well. Wow, sounds smart. So if you want to know more about Arello, then vote for Mario and his startup and we will present them more in detail. Thanks, Mario. So uh, next startup is uh, Amparo. Luca, welcome. Have a seat. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so if you are ready, your 60 seconds starts now. Right, so according to the WHO, there are 30 million amputees in the world, and about 90% do not have access to modern prosthesis, mostly because there's a lack of resources, clinics, and specialized professionals. So that's why we have created the Amparo system, which allows us to provide a prosthetic leg for a person in less than one hour. Most of all, more important is that our material, a low temperature thermoplastic, can be remolded and reused, saving costs for the amputee and for health systems. All the tools necessary to provide this lag can fit into a sports bag, which means that we can also go to rural and remote areas of the world and provide a lag to people that would not have access to. So our dream is to increase access to prosthesis and so that every amputee can live life to the full potential. We'll build on power clinics and provide access to mobility. Uh, thank you very much for the opportunity of being here, and yeah, let's go. My name is Lucas, I'm the CEO of Amparo, and yeah, thank you. All right, uh, actually five seconds left, but anyway, I also uh, always ask one question, uh, so I will also ask it to you. Um, sounds pretty ambitious, Where, in which stage is your, is your, is your startup, and, and uh, what are like your problems you're, you're, you're trying to, to, to solve now? So we already have a functioning product. We're actually already in the market. It's certified. We're selling to clinics to start close by to us. We're based in Berlin, so we're selling here in Germany and other European countries, also in Eastern Europe. And our next stage is actually go to developing countries and provide for those who actually need it. Wow, thanks. Uh, same here. So if you're interested in that startup too, that we are talking more about it, Sounds uh, pretty ambitious. Uh, wish you uh, for sure good luck, and uh, hopefully we can we can help you with uh, with a new st story about it. Thank you very much. Thanks. Have a good one. So next one, uh, Sven. Hi. Hi. Welcome. How are you doing? Uh, I'm quite fine. I'm quite, quite fine. fine. Yeah, yeah. Beautiful. <laughs> good to hear. 
All right, then uh, when you're ready, uh, your 60 seconds starts now. So Sidcar is a platform for urban mobility. So what we're looking at is to get people from A to B, and usually they have C with them. And um, at the core, we are building products, so hardware products. And the first product we build is the Loadster. The Loadster is the first e-cargo bike that is completely roofed and can replace the usual car you take if you're food delivering, if you're a craftsman, if you're a caregiver. So what we're looking at is like we have towns that have like Jeff traffic jam all over the place. You don't find parking spots and we have those bicycle lanes. Why not use them? And usually like in a town like in Berlin, you have 17 kilometers per hour on average speed because you're almost always not driving. So on the bicycle lane, you're faster, you're cheaper, you're more practical. And this is where we're looking at. And we're working on other solutions, doing studies, doing public uh, research, doing some uh, media stuff. So yes, this is basically what we do. All right. Sounds pretty interesting. Um, so, you you are uh, having a solution. What, like, it's compared uh, to, uh, to 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 a car, or do you want to solve like this classical last mile problem? It's an interesting question you ask because we're not a bicycle company at the core, so we didn't look at how to put stuff on the bicycle. We actually thought what would persuade people to give up their car. And so this is why the Loadster, we're very proud that we got the German Design Award from 2019 for it, is really shaped like a car, it feels like a car, you have four wheels, so you're very secure driving, not this average cargo bike thing where you really have to get adjusted to. Now this is a secure driving, this is where we're very proud, and this is where we're looking for future products as well. Right. Wish you good luck for that. I mean, the mobile market is, 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 is pretty packed, uh, but uh, also there's like a lot of uh, needs. So uh, looking forward to. Same here. If you, you want to know more about uh, Sitkar, then um, yeah, we are happy to do an extra story. Thank you. Thanks. See you bye. Bye. So my next guest. Okay, Hello. Uh, yeah, sure. Of course. High five is. We should do more high fives. So. Yeah. All right, uh, so we started with a high five, and then uh, if you're ready, um, your 60 seconds start now. Thank you. Um, so hi, my name is Mieke from Learning by Making, and what we do is we build open and mobile uh, learning environments. This is pop-up spaces, showrooms, and the idea is that we need to create new spaces where learning can happen in a fun, creative way. So actually what it looks like is that we do coding workshops and maker workshops for children, but we also do um, these uh, trainings for teachers, and we also showcase different educational toys and different educational products. So the whole, basically, the idea is that we need to get away from just dumping knowledge on people and on children, but to let them experience knowledge and experience it in a fun way. Yeah. All I still right. have time. I can talk ages about this topic, okay. but like, yeah. And not ages, yeah. But 20 seconds. Cool. So what we do also, we go to fairs, we go to trade shows, we do pop-up spaces, we work together with different educational companies, we work together with schools, and we are basically the bridge between these two worlds. Yeah. All right. Sounds and in which which stage is is, is the is, is the company and who you I mean who you're addressing directly? So um, our stage is actually that we are we have a pop-up space right now for six months and this pop-up space has workshops for children. So we're addressing children and the parents. We're addressing teachers. So we're doing these teacher meetups, getting teachers together, and we're addressing um, open like the publicity or public to bring awareness to the topic that we really need to change something in education. It's like, it's 2018 and it's, it's really, the, our education system is based on a time that is a long, long time ago. So we're addressing a lot of different like target groups, yeah. Wonderful, yeah, definitely. Education has to change. So uh, if you're interested, pop-up store is uh, open until when? Uh, it's open until March and it's here in Berlin Akazienstraße. So we're actually five minutes away from here. Okay, so definitely sh check it out. And if you want that we are checking it out more, then uh, vote for uh, Mieke. All right. Of course. Thank you. All right. Uh, next one. Last but not least, uh, Ramin, welcome. Thank you. Thanks for having me. So, uh, Rückenfit right. sounds half, half, half German, half English. Uh, so, uh, please, uh, if, if you're ready, uh, your 60 seconds starts now. And we have created an online training program for people with back pain that is certified by all statutory um, health insurance companies in Germany. Um, that means that the um, participant can get up to 100% of their money back after 
finishing the um, program successfully from the health insurance companies. They get the money back, so they don't have to pay anything. Um, the program is based on a seven exercises spanning um, self-test that they have to do in the beginning to find out the real causes of their problems so that they can then get an individualized training program. And we are currently um, working on the English translation, to have it in English, um, and also on uh, integrating motion tracking into the system so that um, the device can give uh, real-time feedback on how the person is doing the exercises, um, which is especially important for the self-test so that um, we can make sure that um, they are doing the tests right to get the specific um, training program for their needs. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, it's, it's something for me, I mean, I have always uh, um, 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 problems with my back, um, but I mean, there are like several apps out there or like uh, solutions, uh, w like what are like the USP for you or, or, or what's also like the, 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 the big issue you're solving? Um, so we are, I would say, the only one who, um, that has really the self-test, mm -hmm. so people have to do their specific exercises. You cannot do a regular program. Um, that will help some, but they will um, hurt some as well. So um, we have the self-test, that is our USP for sure, but then when we integrate um, the motion tracking, then I think like, that's a big game changer. Okay, yeah. and uh, yeah, and then, so it costs something, but the, uh, the, the insurance companies will, will uh, are plan to pay for that. All right, so uh, if you want to do something for your back or if you want that we should uh, cover uh, um, Rückenfit Challenge uh, a, a bit more, then uh, please vote for uh, Ramin and his startup and uh, we are happy to do that. Uh, Ramin, thank you for, the, for being part of the show. Thank you. And yeah, thanks. So that was already it for today. Uh, first show of uh, 60 Seconds uh, live at Startup TV. We will present you the show every Friday at 2 p.m. sharp, um, live from Berlin, so Berlin time. And um, yeah, if you are interested, startups, please apply. And uh, we are happy to present you live at Startup TV. And don't forget, vote for your favorite startup, and uh, we will do an extra show, uh, show about them. And don't forget, do epic shit. Bye. <laughs>